Test, test, one, two. Man, have I been talking this whole time with no sound? Oh, man, that sucks. I've been, like, narrating everything. <laughs> Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Oh, man. Test, test, one, two. Can you guys can hear me now? Man, I've been talking this whole time. Man. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is going to come apart. This is the yeah, easiest way to transport it. Okay, perfect. Nice. So here it is, my Star Wars pod racer. I went the first six minutes talking without sound, but here we are at Captain's Auctions Warehouse winning this Star Wars pod racer that I won last week at auction. Uh, so this is now <laughs> this is now going to be in my possession. But look at it. We've got the pod racer marquee. It's not in working condition right now at the moment. Here's the, the back of it. So there's no back to it. Uh, we got to take a look at the Sega Hikaru board. But man, sorry about that, guys. I thought I was talking the whole time. I was doing my little tour. You missed all my excitement for Battle Pod because the Battle Pod was back over there. But this is a really cool Captain's Auctions Warehouse, if you guys have never seen it. It's a really cool warehouse in Anaheim that does monthly auctions. And they have the best stuff if you're ever looking. I actually have been here three times. My first time, I won a Lethal Enforcers cab. My second time, I bought a full-size virtual on a uh, dual racer cab. And then now this is my third time where I got that. But look, yeah, hiding back there is a six-player X-Men. Look at some of these classic, classic pin machines. It's so cool seeing this stuff. There it is. Got a Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, more stuff back there. Man, I was talking so much. I gave you guys all my tips and secrets earlier on, but man, I have to have to cut out the earlier sections. But yeah, this was exciting to be at Captain's again, checking it out. Here's all their ticketing machines that they got over here. We'll see if we can go to the other side too, but there's not much left. If I came last week, they would have had a ton more stuff because everything gets picked up pretty much the week of. Um, but I got to go help my buddy load up the stuff now. So let's go. He's, he's walking back over here. I got to go check on my machine. So yeah, here he is. We got a Star Wars Pod Racer arcade. It comes apart. That's actually good to know so I can store it in different ways. But hey, look, if you guys know who likes dart machines, look at these dart boards, huh? Fancy dart board machines. All right. So got my good buddy, Tommy. It comes apart, guys. I don't even need the thing. I can just sit here on my pod racer. So yeah, it comes apart. We probably totally could have fit this in a, in a bigger truck or something. Yeah, I didn't realize how, how big or small it was. But I mean, that's actually cool that it comes apart. Uh, what's that? <laughs> I know, put it on wheels. But yeah, here we are in our U-Haul trailer. It's going to come back home to us. And uh, yeah, this is other stuff that's getting picked up. So people have been picking up stuff all week. They had a huge auction last week. So if I would have came last week again, it would have had more stuff. But this is cool. Oh, look at this. Um, my my kids love this game right here. This is the uh, the Octonauts. Very cool. Got a Dance Dance Revolution DDR set. Maybe someday, someday we'll have DDR. Prize cube stuff. Maybe we'll go check out the actual pinball section of there. But look, this is cool just to have. I have a pod racer now that's going to be in my house. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick this. Uh, you know, in front of my other working arcade, but I, I, it's good to know that it actually comes apart so I can actually move it around. Race it home. <laughs> yes. P Dubs wants that dart machine. Okay, so there it is, the backside of the pod racer. So, yeah, so I won this, guys, at auction. And I didn't think I was going to win it, honestly. So it was it was not in the best condition. It wasn't working, but it, I sold, it got it for only $400. Let me know in chat. Was that a good deal? $400 for a non-working pod racer? I feel like it was. I didn't really expect to win it. But I mean, just for the art alone and the seat, I could see, even if I had to like worst case scenario, like gut it and redo something with it, 400 bucks, man. I think it was a good deal. Kyo, Kyo Daikin's here, man. Yeah, I probably should have told you that was coming. Um, <laughs> yeah, Kyo, you gotta tell me. Gotta tell me. I gotta tell you next time so we can come out and hang out. Maybe I'll go check out the pinball stuff. 
Very cheap as long as I can fix it. Yeah, 400 is better than a one up of 500 is with issues. $490 cheap, you can probably fix it. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. Again, there's a guy named I Repair Sega that actually um, fixes these things. And so, but he says the Sega Hikaru board is very, very finicky. So, uh, my buddy Tommy is going to help load this up right now into our U Haul so we can get in here. Captain's guys do a great job. Once they, uh, once you purchase everything, They'll load it up into your car, truck, whatever you got going. They'll ship stuff across the country. Um, so, yeah, they're doing a great job as I'm kind of narrating what's going on. But Star Wars paid ro pod racer for folks that are just joining. I'm at Confidence Auctions Warehouse in Anaheim, and it's going to be mine. I don't care if it's not working. I would just sit in here and pretend to be Mr. Anakin. There it is. The pod racer. Okay. Okay. Groom. All right. Put it back on. All right. So we're. All right. And look at the seat, guys. Maybe I should just leave it. Um. Once, once I get it and just build a full size pod racer. Look at this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at this. This is so cool. It's in green shape. I mean, there's a little crack right here. You know, we might be able to fix that. It's an epoxy. I just think it's so rad just to have a pod racer if I can't fix it around. All you're saying, uh, Ritualto is saying to gut it and throw an emulation of the game. The bad thing is that you can't emulate. The arcade version of Pod Racer that well, especially not with the controls. I mean, the unique controls for Pod Racer is that you have these two giant analog sticks here that are part of the racing component, right? So you have one here, right? Oh, and this one's actually broken. This one's actually like taped on. I mean, like, and it's hard to tell in the picture. So, I'm about to get some to replace that. But you have two analog sticks that move left and right. You got your boost button. But none of the emulation for this game works that well yet, unfortunately. So, Sega Hikaru emulation version doesn't use these sticks to be able to drive the controls. You have to just be able to press an up button. So uh, emulation for the actual arcade game, kind of out of the question. Um, but we could play other versions of Racer, like the Dreamcast version, or there's other things. It's just there's not a ton of great emulation for it yet. I hope so. Maybe down the line it can be emulated, but we'll see if we can try to repair it. We'll see. It'll be a project. We'll see how we can get Yeah. All right, so while they're getting that, let's let's go pick let's go back as I'm narrating. I want to show you guys that pod racer or that pot battle pod again one more time. I'm so lucky to have a good friend Tommy that's helping me with like loading stuff up so I can go in here and just geek out and play. But here it is back at Captain's Auctions Warehouse for folks that are just joining. I uh won an arcade. If you couldn't tell. I actually took a video of me telling the wifey, oh look. Where's Retro Ralph at? Retro Ralph. I'm sorry, Ralph. This was uh, this is the one that got away from you because I know that you said that you were looking at the narc as the one, the one that got away. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to send you pictures of this Ralph later on. But here's the narc. Someday, someday you'll get it in your possession. But I mean, look, it has some scratches here. Say no to drugs. Maybe, maybe you'll get one, Ralph. There's another one out there. I'll keep an eye out. But I know there's other people that are looking for this too. But there's the narc for those that watch Retro Ralph stream about his his, uh, his missed opportunity getting that centipede, primal rage, cruising a nice Neo Geo cabinet over here. Got some stand up racing cabs, another Neo Geo, a Williams Multicade, Crisis Zone, Police Trainer. Oh, this is actually going to be one of the ones that I want to really get a board for. I have a Lethal Enforcers cab that I really want to. Uh, <laughs> put a police trainer in there if I can. And a T2. This T2 is not in bad shape. This is pretty cool. Looking pretty good. Pretty clean. Carnival, Marvel vs. Capcom, Centipede. I just love looking at this stuff. It's so cool to be able to see this in person and just get back into a place that has physical arcades. It's been so long. Been over a year. But man, I was checking out earlier. There's that Tokyo Cop, the Ocean Hunter over there, which looks really cool. And guys, the nine thousand dollar battle pod i was here earlier for folks that didn't see it this battle pod for auction went for over nine grand 
and it's an absolute beauty. I mean, look at it. it has all the artwork, everything. So it's fully working. There's the controls. Ah, oh, battle pod. If only, if only people know me for this. I'm just gonna, it's gonna sit in here for a second and just pretend like I paid nine thousand dollars for this. That would be so cool. I know there's been even people that have built their own battle pod replica if they've tried to, but I mean, nothing can replace this. This would be amazing. There's like a little switch there for the controller. This would be so cool to operate it. Yes, the battle pod does work. Need to hit the lottery for that. But yeah, there's the battle pod. Dead Storm Pirates. That's that Dead Storm Pirates game right there. The Beats Mania. So yeah, this is Captain's. There would be more stuff here if I came last week. That was what I was saying last time. Is that um, yeah, there's there's not a lot of stuff that's here. But I'm going to check on the pod racer. I think it's loaded up, and then we might go check out the pinball section because they have a, a little little section where you can go check it out. But this is the Captain's Auctions Warehouse. Thanks for checking it out. Good stuff. Are we good? Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Is your is the the pinball uh, showcase room open right now? Okay, cool. We'll go around too. All right. So after we sign this, we uh we'll head over to the uh, showcase room and show you guys what's over there too. So guys, hang out. <laughs> T says you would have tears of joy browsing that place. It would be perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, Thank you so that. much. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, it's been signed for. It's loaded up. My buddy Tommy is there. Oh, look at these jukeboxes. This is so cool. I love coming to Captain's Auction Warehouse. And I, I told my wife and Tommy that I hope I don't make this a habit, but I've already come here once. I've come here twice. This is my third time. And there she is. Fits perfectly in the U-Haul. My buddy Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Yes, How we doing? Good? Thank, Thank you so you much for helping time. me out, man. We're live right now on YouTube. We got 37 people that are watching, checking it out. So once we get this loaded up, they have an arcade show right, showcase next door, mm -hmm. so we can go over there check it out. They got some cool pinball machines. We got like 15, 20 minutes to spare awesome. before we get back on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. Time. Yeah, this is my buddy Tommy. Good to see good you guys. Gonna make sure this thing is home nice and safe. Look at this. It's gonna have a good time. Heck Let's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so awesome, man. Okay, so I'm looking at it, and like for some reason, I thought this is like way crazy huge. I think they've made different versions of Pod Racer where there was another version that actually had maybe the front parts of it too. Because I remember there's definitely some that looked way bigger than this, but I like the size of this. This is actually perfect for my house, but maybe it was just me imagining that it's much bigger. But I actually like the size of this. Billy writes, Yes, B, I got a freaking Pod Racer. That I did. That I did. <laughs> you should sit home in the pod while I'm doing this. All right, Tommy, actually, can you take a video of me just sitting in it really quickly? Sure. All right. All right, guys, I'm here. I have, I have my mask on. Right here. I can just drive home like this, right? It's my first time checking it out, pretending that I'm at a crown. Here we go, guys. Ready? It's working. It's working. My best Anakin impression? No, no. Yeah, if I get pulled over with the joke <laughs> in the back, I click no response. Maybe, to hey, maybe when we um, maybe when we get back to the neighborhood, we can do that where we can like you know do the neighborhood drive, get it get it going. So maybe we'll do a drive by in the neighborhood. But uh, Anaheim was about maybe maybe about thirty five miles from where I'm at. So I'm in Southern California, so uh, I got a freaking pod racer. Yes, drive home sitting in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, some British would get pulled over, but this. Woo, we did it, guys. I got a pod racer. So much fun. And this is my buddy, my buddy Tommy, helping me out. So once we get this strapped in, we'll probably head over to the showcase room. Keo Daikin knows. Keo Daikin came over to the showcase room. And uh, they have, like, live pinballs and things. So we can just do a quick little tour of, of what they got. I'll go walk over to the other side of the captain's warehouse while, while Tommy's doing that so you guys can see what's in there. But yeah, they have two big warehouses here in Anaheim. So that's their big warehouse where they store a lot of their stuff for uh, when they do the auctions. And then they have kind of like their office setting over here. So we'll just walk over here. I saw a couple arcades that were on. So now we can just uh, say hello. Yes. Get this good stuff getting all packed up. So they do a great job of packing stuff up. This guy brought a whole trailer. Awesome. 
So this is their kind of main office room, the auction registrations for the people that are doing stuff in person. Lots of awesome artwork. Got a halo, got a couple of pinball machines over here. And some live stuff going on. We got Jumbo Safari. Got an old 16 one it looks like, and Miss Pac-Man. It's like a mega touch. Uh, I just picked up um, earlier. Yeah, I just picked up a pod racer. It was just kind of showing folks what else is going on. Okay? All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go check out this Star Wars pinball machine. <laughs> Look at this. Talk about all the pinball play. I've been so used to looking at my three-quarter scale arcade one-up pinball machine. Like, nothing will replace a real pinball machine. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at the full-size DMD on that. Like, I didn't realize that there was machines that had almost full-size, you know, 16 by 9 DMDs, too. That's huge. Interesting. Really gets me thinking about, like, when I do my pinball mods, really put in a full-size screen. I, didn't, I thought they were all kind of smaller like this. Um... But yeah, that's pretty cool. Those are, older machines. are they? Oh, interesting. Cool. Yeah. Sorry, I was recording. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. 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 No. No worries. No. Thank you. That's great information. Is it? Is it okay to kind of look at this back area? Awesome. Cool. Yay. Check out all these old. Are th were these on the auction too that just went out recently last weekend? Oh, wow. That's awesome. And how many pinballs do you normally get like at each auction each month? Um, I would, you know, we normally have at least 30. Okay. Um, but lately it's been a lot more. Oh, wow. That's so cool. And they come from all over? All over. Yeah, this is awesome. Great. And I, I guess my last question, like in terms of like what you guys do, if and do you do any of the restoration here? Like do you check them out ahead of time or do you try to leave I them as I is? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, the consigner wants us to kind of go through it mm -hmm. and make sure it's working properly. Yeah. Um, we try to at least have fresh bands on them. Yeah. Especially true. down here. So when it comes to testing them on screen, at least mm -hmm. they're going to do something. Cool. That makes um, sense. Oh, yeah. Because in the auction, you want to see if they're working on screen. Yeah. Like, if they have broken mm -hmm. rubbers, it's mm -hmm. hard to show that they work, even mm -hmm. though they have broken rubbers. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. We'll try to do. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much for the info and intel. I'm just going to do a quick browse really quickly. Look at all these classics, guys. So cool. No digital screens here. These are all your classics. Bing, bang, boom. Oh, look at this classic turtles machine. This is really cool. Wow. That's really interesting. Play pinball, dudes. My dudes. My dudes. Got some other classic arcades on this side over here. Afterburner. I almost actually almost went for this afterburner, actually. Like, this didn't sell crazily high. I almost got this. I think I might want to get an afterburner in my future. There's a Battle Zone, Donkey Kong Jr., Xaxon. Got a real time burger time on this side. I'm leaving my boy hanging, so I gotta I gotta run back really fast. Man, they have such good stuff here. <gasps> Here's another one. Maybe I missed this earlier one. Oh man, this one looks like it's in better condition. It actually has like this thing here too. So huh. Man. All right. So that has the side panels. I gotta check how much this one went for, what the condition was. I didn't know they had another one. I went to the auction late, so I didn't know. There's a Mario Kart GP2, GP1. Big Buck Hunter in the wild. There it is. Terminator Salvation. Such good stuff. Oh, here's a Mock Storm, too. Oh, that's so cool. Mock Storm is the battle pod thing, too, going on. Looking really good. Looking really good. Halo, Aliens. All right, let's get out of here and go over to the showcase. Thank you. What's that? What are you uh, on my YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Yeah, I have a little, small little channel with like 2,700 followers. I have about nice. 45 people that are checking us out right now. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing how awesome you guys are, loading up stuff. I mean, this is my third time here. Okay. So, yeah, I've, I've won a Lethal Enforcers my first time. Uh, the Virtual on Cabs, I, I won uh, a cab sit down in August. So, this okay. is my third pickup. I got a Star Wars, pod, Star Wars pod Racer. Oh, nice. Yeah.
the one over here? I got the one on that side. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. It wasn't in working condition yet, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, that's the goal. If not, but yeah. So, but the arcade showcase room is open right now. We can go check it out. I. Yeah, we'll head over there right now. All right. And you're part of the auctions too. I've seen you on camera. You're testing yeah. everything during the auctions. Yeah. Yeah. And so do you guys go really like without a break? Because I never see you guys. You guys go pretty, pretty hard, like all day long. Oh. We start at 11 and we end at 11. Yeah. Normal auction goes to at least midnight. Yeah. Uh, been uh, about two. Yeah. Times in the Tommy, you want to go to the showcase? Yeah. All right. You want to just park and then? Okay. Cool. Yeah, if you can park, you can go around to the front door. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just, just, uh, Tommy, go, park, park the car and then meet me on the front. On the, on there's a front door around that building. All right. Cool. All right. So we're getting the backside. Back yes. So cool. And what was your name again? Cece. Cece, that's right. I've heard Cece on the auctions before. <laughs> Cece, make sure it's up and running. Are you guys ahead of time? <laughs> the infamous Cece. So good. You guys do a great job of keeping it like a family-friendly atmosphere. I, I think there's a lot of us in the retro arcade community that just watch the auctions for entertainment purposes. Uh -huh. There's a lot of streamers and groups that will even just do a, hey, let's guess the amount it's going to like actually... Um, it's actually gonna run. Oh wow, this is so cool. Look at this. So this is your showcase room? Like this is our showroom. Everything in here is for sale. This stuff belongs to us. Okay, got it. For the auction is all on consignment. Mm -hmm. So this is all our stuff and it's all for sale. We have five pieces that Chris will not part with. <laughs> okay. Are they which, the holy grails? Which is his creature from the black lagoon. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then his LEs right here. These three LEs are. Ah, I see. So cool. Nice. Very good. And everything else has price tags. If they don't have a price tag, they're just super high price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Like investing, I mean, you know, the pinball investment isn't just a one time thing because there is like maintenance and things too, right? So. Yes, but it's mm -hmm. not something you're going to lose money on. Yeah, that's true. I mean, mm -hmm. Some of these pinballs, see, if you bought a Monster Bash mm -hmm. 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you would have spent like maybe four or five grand. Mm -hmm. And now they're still way over. Is it? How much would that typically go, yeah, go for? That one is so pristine. Um, it's all in original condition. So that one's super high price. Uh -huh. It is uh, that one we have at 12. 12 grand for a month. So you're talking about investments? Pinball's where it's at, guys. Pinball where it's at. Look at this black rose golly. It's so awesome. Look at the condition of these. So do you, again, when you get these, it, it kind of come in various states though, right? So, yeah. yeah. Like, this looks so, so good. You've got your, um, mm -hmm. your draft here. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Pristine condition. This could be yours for 12 grand, guys. The Captain's Auctions Warehouse, that's where it's out. Check them out. Is the showcase on online too? Like these prices? Okay. Yeah, so cool. Let's just check. Let's just take it out. Look really quick. So we got Monopoly in service. This is what I'd be interested in. Look at this Star Trek. Very cool. Star Trek is 7,400. Boom, boom, boom. Got an Adams family. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Very clean. Look at this Circus Voltaire. Champion Pub. Here it is. <laughs> Got an Arabian Night. Tales of the Arabian Nights. Toten, the real one. I remember some folks talking about this. People were doing an FX3 tournament of it. Look at that. These are like holy, holy grails. Look at this monster bash. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I have such a better appreciation now for some of these things. Cactus Jack. And are you guys ready? Ready to look at this? Boom. 
the attack from Mars pinball machine. Full scale, Kyo Dyke and I saw him playing this other day. Look at this, $9,500, could be yours. Are they bright and tight, looking good. Did they do, this is their arcade showroom right now. So this is, this is where they do their auction, I bet. So this is probably where they do some of their stuff. This is their Star Trek room, classics. We got Centaur, Lectomania, The Beatles. Oh, this is the Walking Dead one that they're talking about. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Walking Dead, these are the more modern ones. You got a Spider-Man, Spidey, $5,600. And Avengers, $8,000. Oh, look at this Tron Legacy. Tron Legacy looks pretty cool. Looking pretty good. Tron Legacy looking great. Zeppelin. Black Knight, Sword of the Rage. This is called Captain's Auctions Warehouse in Anaheim, California. So this is, uh, again, an auction house that does uh, monthly auctions. And you'll see them on different streams and places. Look at this classic Star Wars. This is so cool. Let me do a pan up with the Star Wars really quick. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, so this is this is not the auction warehouse. They have multiple buildings. So this is Captain's Arcade Showroom. So check it out. Captain's Arcade Showroom, Anaheim, California. It's an interact. What does that mean, interactive showroom? If you want to purchase a pinball, you're welcome to come in and purchase a pinball. If you want to just play some pinball. Welcome to come in and play. So oh, on hello. Very cool. So I can put in some quarters and actually like jump in here and get some games. I can play some pinball, guys. That's so awesome. I gotta gotta go check with my friend and see if he's if he made it in. But yeah, I I got he's out front. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me uh let me get some change. Look at this. This is Captain's Change Machine. All right. I'm gonna play some pinball. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to actually like play some pinball. Pinball. Do you play some pinball tables? Go play dialed in. <laughs> All right, tell me which 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 pinball table should I play, guys? Let me know. All right, got my classic dollar bills. Make sure. Oh, and I don't remember the last time I actually did a change machine. This is exciting. This is the game where you win every time, right? Put in something, you always get something back. This is so much fun. There we go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. There it is. One of my favorite games, a captain's change machine. Oh, it's not working. It doesn't like my dollar. It's not accepting my money. You guys, you don't want the money. There it is. Star Trek, Indiana Jones, Zeppelin. I'm surprised there's 57 people in the middle of the day watching this. It's really cool. All right, you have yeah. fun in here. Yes. All right, thank you, Cece. We'll see you at the next auction. So, <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, it's called Kongs R Us. Yeah, and I do like a uh, retro gaming. I usually focus on a uh, uh, three-quarter scale arcade home market, but I'm starting to venture into full-size arcade. So yeah, it's called Kongs R Us. It's a small YouTube channel, about 2,700 subs, but I've uh, been, been very active in the community. So people, like virtual pinball is a big thing now, yeah. but like classic pinball is just, you can't replace it with anything. So yeah, yeah. Not it's not the same. Cool. <laughs> Thanks you so much. Nice oh, meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> she said it first virtual <laughs> pinball is not real pinball guys but that's all we got at the home <laughs> this is real pinball all right okay, okay. and you let it boot up you put your quarters in okay play. once you're done leave it on okay clean it and turn it back off oh got it so how, just can you show me how to turn on one game um, like okay so this is right like, Okay, right underneath. Yep, got it. It's always like to the, the right. right flipper underneath. Oh my god, I can turn on the game. So cool, so, awesome. Okay. And then the newer machines, mm -hmm. the bigger displays, they're gonna be right here. Okay, got it. All right. Cool. This is over there. This is uh, the Chris's wife. Oh, okay. Very cool. Thanks. Thanks so much, CC. It's a pleasure chatting with you. Cool guys. All right, I gotta go check on Tommy. There he is. There's Tiff. Tommy, we can play some arcade games. We can see, see what's just saying. What's that? 
Oh yeah, stun me and Tommy were talking about dude, let's build our own stun runner. We could do it. Yeah, but, uh, it time, oh I know, I know. So yeah, yeah. if you want to play help yourself guys okay. Monday through Friday, twelve to nine. Awesome. During COVID, okay. what we're doing is requiring to still wear a mask. Okay. Keep it clean, keep it safe. Of course. And then one of us me during the daytime is always cleaning in between sites. Oh perfect. So all of the roped off games are just to kind of keep mindful of social distancing. Yes. And really that's it. Everything else is just have fun. There's tons of hand sanitizer around that you can use in between play. Thank you. So just turn the game on, mm -hmm. keep it on. And then the clean in between. Yeah. And CC said you're the first lady of the Captain's Auctions Warehouse. Captain. Yes, you're Mrs. Captain. We're talking to the Mrs. Captains right now. So I have a small YouTube channel called Kongs of Rust and got 50, 61 people watching live right now that we're just going to be demoing some stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Play to buy. Play to buy. Check it out, guys. Captain's Arcade Showroom. This is here Monday through Friday, 12 to 9. And then the auction happens at least once a month. Four to, six weeks. four to six weeks or so yeah but right now that's live online yes that's right yeah i know it's my third time unfortunately <laughs> cool thank you so much all right tommy you want to play some games what do you want to play yes yes man it's good stuff all right so what do you guys think what's the first one what's the first one we should play oh i don't know i kind of i want to i kind of want to play that star wars machine because Hey, come over here. Let's, let's play. Let's play Star Wars. I feel like I'm a Star Wars guy. It's like one of my biggest things. This would be so cool to check it out. So check out this classic Star Wars pinball table with the full size DMD, Star Trek, and Star Wars. Okay, I'll do both. But I'm gonna do Star Wars first, and then the truck table afterwards. So underneath here is the on switch. She said, I think. I think. Yeah, they said we have to turn on the arcade switches. Ourselves. I think they're, if I right there on the back. On the back side? I know. <laughs> how do we turn it on? I know. I guess we I guess we have to like ask her. That's part of the fun. How do you how do you turn on the machine? Is there a button underneath? Do you see anything? Okay, here, here, here. Gotta be a six. You're missing the obvious. You're missing the obvious. All right, you do that. I'm going to get more change because I think I'm going to need some more change. Let's go put in another $5 bill. This is so cool. So if you guys don't know, we're at Captain's Auctions Showcase or Captain's Showcase Room in Anaheim, California right now. Just to check it out. It's pretty cool. The back side, front, right, bottom. Tommy, Tommy's looking, but I just got, I got hit. Wasn't that a beautiful sound? It was $5 worth of quarters. So let's, let's see how long this $5 worth of quarters is going to last us. I can't remember the last time I actually put an arcade quarter into something. So this is actually pretty cool. Are you still looking? All right. Are we going to give up on finding the actual on and off switch on the Star Wars machine? Uh, here? Found it. You found it? Found something. You found something. You just hit. You hit one switch. Is it more than one? Well, I found. Uh, here we go. That's the DMD. Oh, is that the whole thing? Or maybe you got it. Okay, Star Wars. It's on. What about the rest of it? Yeah. You didn't feel anything else underneath? No. Um. Man, all right. We got to look underneath right here. Front right. Oh, here it goes. It's, it's starting. It's going. Wait for it. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's everything. Here we go. Yes. All right, here we go. Can you can you do the honors? Got it, buddy. All right, seventy five cents. Putting some quarters in. Got one, two, three. Yes. Oh, cool. Lightsaber sound. This is only sixty one hundred dollars. Only. Oh, there's a Stranger Things next door too. This is really cool. Like, oh, it has like modern, like digital, but it's in a classic feel. I guess. This almost looks like it's the classic modern game. Let's just find out more about it. Yeah, she has the Princess Leia. Oh, my good. Oh, Ethan Hacker. Beautiful fullback, Skywalker. Let's go in. Uh, it's nothing like real pinball, guys. I've been playing too much virtual pinball. Oh, no. Oh, I'm already. 
I need to tell it. I, I gotta learn how to tell it better. Already lost the three Oh, and this is the bad thing about me playing the home arcades. I'm so used to just like having a million credits that I really don't like lose my skills. Not that I have real pinball skills, but I'm doing, I'm doing so bad. There it is. Oh. oh no! I'm already down two balls. This is terrible. And then the ball bonus. You look like the speed bonus. Oh my goodness. Terrible. I'm already on my third ball. Oh, uh, real pinball is no joke, guys. No oh, that's so cool. Am I cheating? What am I doing? Oh, I'm actually like, I'm navigating the Melania Falcon. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so terrible. That's awesome. Are you doing that with the flippers? Yeah, I'm doing with the flippers. The flippers are moving into the back to the right. I'm actually like flying the Melania Falcon. That's the way it feels clear. That's awesome. That was so much fun. Oh my goodness. All right, that's fun. Up, down. Up. Oh, oh. All right, let's see if we can get into the Death Star. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, it's it's heavy. I'm done. I'm done. Max, Max, Max. Max, Max, Max. I did not match. Alright. Alright, Star Wars. That was so much fun. Honest Star Wars? That was fun. Alright, Tommy. What do you want to play? I don't know, man. It's on you. Alright, I have some people that want to see Star Trek. Oh, we got Tron, Deathland, Avengers, Spider-Man, Walking Dead. We have the whole place to ourselves, guys. It's awesome. You guys want to check it out? Captain's Option Warehouse or Captain's Arcade Showroom, Anaheim, California. Fine zone. I really want to play this Star Trek table because it looks freaking awesome. All right, here we go. Star Trek. Under here. There it is. See. I have to ask a dumb question. How do you get the gimbal to move the phone this way? That's that? Oh, yeah. You just um, move this right here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Now I could be a better cameraman. Okay, there we go. Star Trek, the next generation. Picard. Jean-Luc Picard. Only 50 cents to play. More, please. More, please. Here we go. We got a single credit. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is a beautiful table with all the different ships and things. All right, let's play Let's press the engage. And we're gonna press the phaser right here. Here we go. Oh, that's so cool. Lord has entered Federation space. Got some bumpers. Got some flipper action. Oh my god, it's so terrible at pitball. I lost my ball already. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to do it. I gotta work on my nuts on this skills. Uh, I don't have a nudge button. I gotta work my physical skills. Right. And it's stuck. Did you break it already, B? I tilted. Oh, I hit it too hard because <laughs> it got stuck. That wasn't my fault. The ball got stuck up there. All right, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so terrible. All right, you got to get the next game for something. This place is amazing. This place is awesome. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna work on my my tilt skill. Like, it's just like a giant. Like, oh, I didn't realize how big it is. Everything just falls to the center. Like that was terrible. Just see that. Can't be physics, man. I'm Can't done. be physics. I'm done. Physics, physics on the table. All right, here we go. Gonna get on the supporters. 
We're gonna let Tommy pick out a table and see what's up and check out what's going on with chat. You gonna go with Tron? All right. He's gonna go for the Tron one. Look, it's a medieval madness. What? Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna turn this one on so I can play it later on. This is a medieval madness. Let's go. Let's turn this one on too. See if we can get it under. Okay. We'll turn that one on. All right, but Tom, Tommy's gonna play some Tron. Is it? Well, you gotta know this isn't classic Tron though. This is Tron Legacy, but it's still pretty cool. Tron Legacy has an awesome. Uh, it. Yeah. You got a great soundtrack. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Daft Punk. Hopefully the sound turns on in a little bit. This is a stern table. Got all the flashing lights on this Tron Legacy cab. Has a lot of, uh, you know, not the wire ramps, but, uh, you know, the plastic ramps. I don't know what those are called. Looking good and clean. Got to put my coins up here. In, uh, in so you got to call next. You got to put, put your coins up there. That's right. Got to call next. This shows how hard really pinball. This, dude. Pinball is really hard. To be fair, the tables I'm picking are tough tables to play. I, I'm just terrible because, like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Dr. Libro says, after this, your A1 up pinballs are going to feel like crap when you get home. <laughs> uh, you're, not, you're, not, you're not speaking the, the – oh, they're here. There you go. Got to press the start button. Got to press the start button. All right. All right, we got the music going. Got some Daft Punk going. Got the plunger. Let's see how good Tommy is. He's not going to fail exactly like I did. Boom. Boom. Really? Yeah. Yeah, look at you already getting getting there. Oh, look at this little cool. It's a it's a replica Tron arcade inside the pinball machine. That's so dope. Look at that. That's so cool. Physics kicked our butts. That's right. There it is. There's the ball. I have a drink. Goose. The end of line. Oh. You're already on ball three, just like me. Oh uh, man, these are these are quarter suckers, man. That's what they're made to do. They are made. I need one of these. Yeah, you do. Full size pinball machine, or you gotta go real pinball? You need real pinball. You need real pinball. Oh, physics. physics. Ball safe. You saying you said Led Zeppelin is the newest stern table? This is the newest stern table? Really? It looks so like it looks so classic. What did you do? I went up the ramp. Oh nice. These new tables are awesome. They have like a classic feel to it, but like especially with the full size DMD. Good. I'm doing pretty well, not bad. Not bad. Oh, you're done. You're, you're, playing done. Again. I'm playing. you're done. He's playing again. All right, so you're saying this Led Zeppelin table is the newest Stern table. Like, I actually had a lot of fun playing that Star Wars one that used the kind of same same setup. Let's check it out. I'm, I'm curious to see. Oh, they do have a Stranger Things table. All right, Tommy's going to do that. Here it is. Here's the Stranger Things table right here. This is really cool. All right, let's do... Let's do Stranger Things. Check it out. This is only six grand right here. I'm actually curious. I love I love Stranger Things. Let's check it out. All right. I think the on switch is over here. There it is. All right. There's the on switch. If we can turn on this Star Wars table is really fun. Oh my goodness, this is super fun. Sixty one hundred dollars for a full size Star Wars machine that plays like this. You know that might be an investment I might be willing to do at some point in time. If, uh, Oh my god, this is actually way fun. I actually really like the Star Wars table. I'm considering it. $6,100 for the Star Wars table. Worth it? I don't know. I might have to look at it. We'll see. Look at this classic artwork. But the gameplay was like super modern. All right, here's the start. Here's the Stranger Things table. Here it is. All lit up. Stranger Things. 
Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Got the Demi Gorgon. Got the Demi Gorgon. Oh, here's another Star Trek table. This is a modern Star Trek, though. So there's modern Star Trek. Right there. Ah, so cool. How you doing? Doing good? Bum, bum. All right, show me playing uh, the Stranger Things table. All right. There you go. All right, Stranger Things. It's already 2.20. Hang out for like another 10 minutes. Head out. All right. Change your things, guys. Oh, that's so cool. Look, the thing popped up. It's going to like go to the upside down. That's so cool. All right, here we go. Oh, we get to the Demogorgon. All right, so we got to hit each one of those. How to get the radar. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, let's see if we can aim and get this last one. Almost. Almost. Yes! I'm going to go to the upside down. Yes, got it. Sorry, Demi Gorgon bust out. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get that Demi Gorgon. Yes. yes. Oh. 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 Dude, that was awesome. That was rad. That was cool, right? I was not expecting. Oh, that. these modern dealers are so cool. Really good. All right, we'll run. All right, let's try one. Let's see if we can do it again. That was bad. That was badass. All right, we gotta get one, two. Oh, no, 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 no. Three. Oh, no. That's the bumper. Oh, go down. There we go. Bumper. Bumper is going crazy. Get up the ramp. Backside bumper. All right. Oh, I need to hit that one more time. Almost, almost there. Oh, I'm in. What did I do? Boom, boom. Oh no! Second ball is gone. All right, last one. Oh, look at the DMD in the back. It's so good. My, my timer. Danger. Danger, danger. Break out, break out, break out. Get in there again. Get in there. Yes, trap them. Demi Gorgon trap them. What does that mean? Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. The ramp is down. Let's get the Demi Gorgon. Oh, it's multi ball, multi ball, multi ball. Multi ball. Good one. Oh, I got him. Again, again. Oh, multi ball is so crazy in real pinball. This is not like virtual pinball. Oh, I lost one. Oh, no one him. Oh, multi ball is so crazy. There's nothing like real physics. That was bad. Dude, I forgot how much this hand set the stress level when you got a ball coming. Right? Multi ball is crazy. And oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright. Alright, that was fun. That was, that was do I have another one? I think I did. I think that's game over. Okay, that was last one. Yeah, Max, 30. Went to like all oh, stress to see if you can get the max for it. Yeah, that was awesome. Game over. That was pretty cool. You want to play one more and head out or what? Yeah, you keep this up. I'm going to be here all afternoon. My wife's going to wonder where I'm at. I know. This is so cool. I mean, they have five Oh, I turned on this medieval madness to check it out. So, we should check out the classic, classic game right here. So, this is a medieval madness. 9,500, it's already on. 
There you go. This is costing a dollar. I think I've already spent the five dollars on it, but this is probably one of the best five dollars I've spent in a long time. That classic feel. That's what it is. All right. Medieval madness for you. Let's start the launch button here. Look at these wire masks. This is so cool. Uh, oh, I got into the castle. Look, the boat opened up. That's so cool. Extra balls. Extra balls. Some more block. Am I getting multi ball already? All right. Let's see if we can get into the castle. 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 Oh, no. Lost the ball. All went down. Oh man, there's nothing that's gonna fight. Real pinball has got me spoiled now. I'm gonna go back like somebody was saying to my arcade one up pinball and feel a little little inadequate now. Oh no, I lost my second ball already. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Extra balls, almost. All right, let's tap it. Go up. Go up. Tap the ball. Oh, we're in the castle. We're in the castle. It's crumbling. It's feeling. Look at that. Dude, look at the castle. That's so badass. Castle destroyed. Two million points. Two million points. Oh, man. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I right, made it into the castle mode again. Oh. All right. I think we're losing our balls into the moat. We gotta drop that drawbridge again. All right. This is so much fun, guys. I mean, yeah, I can. I can. Drawbridge, man. I got the drawbridge. Let's get into the castle again. Castle. 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 Oh, the gate. You gotta bring down a gate. Castle. Castle. Multi ball. Multi ball. Come on. Multi ball. Here it comes. Oh, there's ogres. Look, the ogres popped up. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. I wanted the wire out. Twist your lips ahead. Oh, take the ball gone. All right, huh? All right, the castle's open. Let's get in the castle. Okay, here we go. Yes, you're in. Boom. 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 Uh, tech games, yeah. When you get home, your Star Wars table would feel tiny. I totally feel you, man. I totally feel you. Wow. Wow, look at that. That was so much fun. Match for a free game. Sorry. Didn't quite get it. This is awesome, guys. I am uh, having so much fun. I can't wait to get home to actually test out if my Star Wars pod racer is working. Uh, but, man, this is awesome. Did you come back here again, Tommy? Heck yeah, we got to do this again next time. Like, I think last time we came here, we just kind of picked it up. We didn't actually check out this showcase room. I didn't know that this place existed. So this is awesome. Look, an Attack from Mars. You want to play Attack from Mars? Trust me. Yeah? Tommy, you got to do one last one. Right. Like, there's a, you know, Arcade went up, came up with this recent football tables, and Attack from Mars is like the marquee game that came out recently. So this, I think we have to play it. I think we have to do it this just to test it out. So, Tommy, you want to get it? All right, buddy, since you're right. forcing me. Okay. Tommy, get it. And look, it's only only the low, low price of 50 cents. There you go. Got the quarters. Got the classic Attack from Mars. All right, we'll play some Attack from Mars, and then we'll get out of here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Check it out. Let's do it. See if we can take down some aliens. So, Tommy, get her done. Look at this. Nothing like real Timball. Sorry, Tech Games. Jonathan. 
I feel you. You got that full size table. Virtual pinball is nice if you don't have the real thing, but I might have to start saving up. I mean, this is only available for the low, low price of $9,500. Yeah. There's no cheating with this, right? It's all physics. Get them. <laughs> uh, WKRP since he says we'll blame Tommy's divorce on B. <laughs> it wouldn't be my first time. Oh no, <laughs> that's true. No. Oh, no. Go. Uh, Ritual says, "Can you go live here once a week?" <laughs> this is my third time being here in like the last six months, so uh, you know we might make some other trips. I know Kiwa Daikin, he was here earlier. He actually comes out here more regularly. So this is definitely cool to check out. <laughs> the one time low low price of ninety five hundred. Yeah. Yeah, Jonathan, you make a great point, man. Best to have both if you can. I am definitely working on my virtual pinball cam. You did a fantastic job with your switch mod. Looking forward to what else you're doing that. But yeah, having a full size pin cap, I think that uh, allows you to go very, very, uh, very virtual pinball sheet heavy. Uh, yeah, they are open uh, Monday through Friday, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Again, Anaheim, multi ball. We got multi ball going on. Take out those aliens. Multi ball. Let's go, Tommy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Look at this craziness. Look at all the lights flashing. Like, there's nothing like seeing it in person. Boom. 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 Keep it up, Tommy. And this is your last ball. Make it count. The Brandenburger Tour is in danger. So cool. For folks that may be joining, we're at Captain's Arcade Showcase in Anaheim, California. I just won a Star Wars arcade pod racer, and uh, we're checking out their showcase room right now where you can come in. Turn on any of these pinball machines. I thought they were not available to play. They look like, like you know, they're behind these ropes right here. I thought they were just for show, but you can actually get in here and play these classic arcade games. Like, it's been so long since I played real arcade. And, like, again, not these tables. If I went to a place that had an arcade pinball machine, it would be, like, maybe a classic game that's kind of broken down. It's not as great quality like these are probably the best quality pinball tables I've ever played with in my life. I've not ever played an Attack from Mars that was in this pristine condition before. So this is a real treat. I definitely need to come back out here more and check it out with the kiddos. They do a good job of allowing you to come in and see their stuff. But man, this is really awesome. Just so I set it up from Attack from Mars from Play One Up. <laughs> yes, the Totem Table, the Circus Voltaire, Creature from the Black Lagoon. So cool. All right, guys. Immaculate. So good. Are you ready to head out? All right, let's do it. All right. Can you jump in really fast? All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check me out the channel. And uh, I will hopefully have some more content featuring that Star Wars Arcade Pod Racer. So check it out. Do the thing that you do to support the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Thank you guys. We'll walk on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. We're heading out of Captain's Arcade Auctions Warehouse. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here it is. That one.